Hello friends I am Balaji Rao welcome to BR Max class if you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel to get more updates find the derivative of cosecant x by using first principle we know what is first principle of derivative first principle of derivative is f dash of x equals to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h this expression is called first principle of derivative now which function derivative you want to find you take that function as f of x what is f of x f of x is cosecant x we need f of x plus h what is f of x plus h cosecant of see x is replaced with x plus h what is f of x plus h it is cosecant of x plus h now you apply these two here limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h is cosecant x plus h minus f of x is cosecant x divided by h we know the trigonometry formula cosecant x is 1 by sin x limit h tends to 0 cosecant x plus h can be written as 1 divided by sin of x plus h minus cosecant x can be written as 1 divided by sin x whole divided by h now you observe the numerator take the LCM sin x plus h into sin x what you will get in the numerator sin x minus sin x plus h divided by what is LCM sin x plus h into sin x into whole divided by h I am writing here it as 1 divided by h if we continue this further you observe that numerator part it is of the form sin c minus sin d what is the formula for sin c minus sin d 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 you apply the same thing in the numerator see here 2 cos c plus d by 2 c is x d is x plus h 2 cos c plus d by 2 and now i am writing the denominator part simplification will be easy sin x plus h into sin x now continuation 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 c is x d is x plus h whole divided by in last step whole divided by 1 by h is written as divided by h we know this formula limit extends to a f of x into g of x equals to limit extends to a f of x into limit extends to a g of x apply this formula here so limit h tends to 0 2 cos x plus x is 2x 2x plus h divided by 2 whole divided by whole divided by sin of x plus h into sin x now again i'll apply the limit to the g of x limit h tends to 0 sin of minus 1 by 2 into h divided by h now i'll apply limit to this part wherever h is there there you put 0 you know how to find the limit put h is 0 2 cos x will be remaining in the numerator denominator is sin x into sin x if we apply limit to this part it looks like this formula form observe here limit x tends to 0 sin ax divided by x equal to a so what is a here a is minus 1 by 2 now in the numerator 2 and the denominator 2 will get cancelled now what is remaining minus is remaining and you observe here 1 by sin x can be written as cosecant x that remaining minus I written 1 by sin x is written as cosecant x cos x by sin x is cot x so conclusion if f of x is equals to cosecant x then its derivative f dash of x is minus cosecant x into cot x from now onwards we take this as a formula derivative of cosecant x is minus cosecant x into cot x I hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button below share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thanks for watching bye bye